So, we're moving past our political insight and we're looking at our rumor right now. We'll be looking at Kat Von B, if you know her. We're looking at one single video and then we're going to be discussing. Allegedly, Kat Von B has been, that built her career and been well known for satanic symbolism, being in a cult, practicing witchcraft and all of those stuff. But then she has made a transition that has left a lot of persons questioning what her motive is. Let's take a look together. The KBD Good Apple Foundation went viral on TikTok recently. If you haven't seen it, this is what it looks like. But I need to talk about Kat Von D herself. If you don't know who she is, she rose to fame in 2007 on LA Inc. And then she got her own spinoff show. And she's just been involved in a lot of things since then. She is beyond problematic though, so let's jump into why. When she was the owner of her brand, she came out with lipstick shades called Celebutard, Underage Red, and then finally one that was the German word for selection that the Nazis used during World War II. She refused to apologize for any of these, saying that it promoted rebellion, not destruction. She was also super big on her brand being vegan, which is great, but that happened in 2016 and she didn't even get sustainable packaging until 2019. And of course, she's done way worse. This is part two of the rise and fall of Kat Von D. I don't think I made it very clear in the last video, but Kat Von D is actually no longer associated with her former beauty brand. Kendo owns it outright. They still call it KVD Vegan Beauty because they didn't want customers to get like all the branding mixed up. But she no longer makes money from the brand or has any decisions with it or anything like that anymore. But that actually makes perfect sense because when she was part of the brand, she would just basically hate on the entire beauty industry. She would have events and not invite influencers at all, even though influencers are part of the reason that her company did so well. She said they were not on brand. She would never repost them and she said she wouldn't relate to them, didn't admire them, and did not think they were cool. Since she left the brand, Kendo has actually done the opposite. They've been very inclusive of influencers, big and small. Von D's 1896 Victorian Gothic mansion just sold in LA. I'm gonna bring you guys on a little tour. This is arguably the best part of the house, the blood pool. This house is sitting on a 27,000 square foot lot. The house itself is 30,000 square feet, featuring 11 bedrooms, eight and a half bathrooms, along with the two bed, one bath carriage house. Now this property was actually moved to its current location in 1915. It was listed for $15 million back in January of 2022, which was later lowered to $12.5 million and was just sold for $7.75 million. This is also the same house from Cheaper by the Dozen. I'm pretty sure this is a primary bedroom. It's gorgeous. This whole house is just on Listen what happened to this lady that was recently involved in the occult. This lady's name is Kat Von D, who is a professional celebrity and tattoo artist. And there are recent reports that she was evolved in the occult and doing very dark things. But it recently came out that she burned all her occult books. But what happened next is even crazier. Kat Von D was delivered from the power of the devil and surrendered her life to Jesus Christ. And if you believe that Jesus has power over the occult, then subscribe for more. Okay, let us talk about it. Some persons have argued that she's just doing this now because she's caught up in a lot of negative spiritual warfare and she's trying to save herself. Some persons have argued that she's doing this because she has she's probably dropping a new music video or a new makeup line and she wants to reach a wider target audience. So what, what, are, what are our thoughts on the situation? Same as before, raise your hands. Let's talk about it. Okay, I see one hand. Go ahead, Imani. Maybe she just found the Lord and decided that, you know, this is her second chance, you know, that we have to, we have to remember, guys, that even though they're celebrities and they put out a certain image and they put out a certain character, we never really know what's happening in their life. I mean, Black China, sorry, Angela White is, is, is baptized too and she came to the Lord, so we never know what's happening. Everybody can find the Lord in their own little way. Maybe she realized that her ways is why she can't, she, she, 
always in a pocket area, so now she decides that she's going to give Jesus a chance. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you for that. So, a few verses in the comments saying everybody finds the Lord when they're in trouble and there's not much change. All she did was move from one cult to another. I'm not seeing any more okay. hands, but take it that that's all we have to say on the muscle. You saying something, Fernando? Yeah, um, I was saying that if someone so called claims to find the Lord, then we have to see change. If they don't change, then they didn't really find the Lord. That's what the comment says. People always try to find the Lord when they're in trouble. And the moment when the Lord delivered them from that trouble, they went back to where they was. So basically what they do is abuse people. Well, use the Lord's grace. So yeah, let's see the change. And then we'll say, yes, she made a change. Okay, thank you. Someone in the comments said, um, it should not matter to us what she's doing and why. And I just wanted to say, based on the comments that I was seeing, it's not so much persons are saying she can't change. It's more of um, they're concerned that this is a publicity stunt and she's not genuine and it's a mockery because she moved from satanic being involved in witchcraft and stuff to this. Not to say persons can't change, but they're suspicious of if it's a genuine thing or if it is just, you know, for whatever marketing strategy she's aiming for. Okay. No more hands. We're good to go. We got to talk to our sister.